Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. So, you know, my obsession with Mestastic started over two years ago and, you know, this recent year here, 2024, as we get towards the end of the year, has really been a big year for Mestastic and the market has responded to that demand, whether it's the big companies like Rack and uh, Lilligo or Helltech, which really hasn't done a full off-the-shelf ready radio, or at least the way I would consider it. But many small businesses have collaborated with, like Rockland has collaborated with, or small, real small, like in your garage type small companies have responded by developing radios that you could buy and basically have shipped to your home and they're ready to use. Uh, the company we're going to talk about today is Nordic Develop Development Industries LLC. Some may be following uh, the Instagram channel of Midwest Mesh Lab, which is I assume the person behind the company and they are creating a ruggedized off the grid radio. We're going to focus on the PV1 Dart radio, but we'll take a look at some of their other products just so you know what they've got to offer you and then whether or not I think it's worth buying their product. So let's take a look. So I'll start over here looking at the PV1 Dart and then we'll just take quick look at some of the other products they offer uh, but the Shopify account uh, I'll just put a link here in the video for that and then down below uh, so if you want to go check it out yourself you can go over there they just rolled this out they got pre-order on one of their products and then this one is available I will note just like a lot of small businesses a lot of things are built to order so they don't just have a shelf full of these things so you need to add uh, account for lead time so I think it does say that four to six weeks lead time. So if you're trying to order this for an upcoming whatever, uh, take that into account. So the DART prototype version one, that's what the PV1 stands for. The DART is decentralized austere radio transceiver, right? So this is the parts list, what they're going to talk about. But you can see it's got a luminized case. We'll talk here. Parts is... 950 megahertz LoRa radio, the latest stable mesh-tastic version, a IP66, which is ingress protection uh, aluminum enclosure, which is more than sufficient for probably 98% of the people that are going to be using this. It's got an on-off switch, which is outstanding. You can save that uh, battery life. The cable, the USB-C cable that's on the top is an IP67 setup. LoRa antenna, you have the option of the ZB m2 or other which is the gooseneck tactical one that probably the same one that rockland's selling i've seen quite a few of them out there honestly i'm not sure if i'm i haven't tested that antenna yet but it's pretty bulky and now if you're carrying on body somehow like you're wearing some sort of kit or something I'm sure it might work okay you know a belt or something wearing it on that but i'm not sure if i'm a i'm not sure if i'm a fan yet i haven't tried one out but they do seem bulky i like kind of smaller Antennas, GPS is integrated into the system, Bluetooth, and a 300 milliamp hour battery, which should get you at least five days of runtime, probably more, depending on how you're operating it. And of course, you can charge it via the USB-C there on the top. 215 is is a, you know, for some people, it's probably going to be a, maybe a, no, that's outside my budget, I understand. But right now, I don't know of another radio mesh-tastic LoRa radio that is offering any sort of IP rating and the, the there's a case that I've reviewed over at Rockland Rockland's uh pre-printed uh 3D printed cases they sell one that's I would say like splash proof no claims to that but it would probably be okay and a splash as long as it's not getting directly pounded by rain snow water whatever or no sort of immersion um it would be okay and um, they just talk a lot about ATAC and a lot of other stuff here down below. So we'll jump over. Do I think it's worth the price? Yeah, I do. Uh, the off-the-shelf ready radios on Rockland and others that are ready to go are, you know, around $100, which is kind of the entry point for one that's ready to go uh, once you get it. 
$115 more for a waterproof ruggedized case. They're not even waterproof. This thing could be dropped. Uh, I think it has a mill standard, and I know being a military guy, sometimes when you see mill spec, you're like, haha. But um, but there is actual standards there for dropping and whatnot. I swear I saw that earlier. But <clears throat> anyways, you can check that out at the link provided. Now let's just jump back over real quick. I'll show you some of the other products that they're currently offering. I assume this company will grow uh, with the popularity of mesh task and their mesh radios out there. So I have this old active Samsung Active 2, which I thought would be great for ATAC and other operations because it's ruggedized and waterproof, has a replaceable battery. Wow, amazing. Guess what? It's old enough that the Play Store's version of ATAC doesn't work, won't load. I tried side loading. I have not had any success with that. The, the internal specifications, you know, may not work with ATAC anymore. Um, so, but he has an ATAC enabled phone, which is a Samsung phone with a replaceable battery. That's a cool feature. And then the rugged, uh, the, the Samsung, I think it's yeah, active four, right? So pretty awesome. I don't know if the active fours have replaceable. I don't think they do. They have an integrated battery, which sucks, but whatever. <laughs> so yes, I'm sure you're paying a little bit more than market value for that, but it's already going to be set up and ready to go for you. It has the Atomic, which is a polyurethane hinged case. He did do some testing. I've seen plenty of videos. If you check out the Instagram channel, which I'll link here also, he does a bunch of videos of submerging these things. I don't think he reclaims any ingress protection on the Atomic, but it's probably at least more water resistant than most of the radios out there. And then this is the latest one. We'll wrap up with this. <clears throat> this is the Dart 2. Uh, looks like 2025 pre-order. It is significantly more, but it's going to be, there's a prototype. I would assume this 3D printed case is a prototype case of probably what he's going to have developed um, to make it a more compact radio, but offering a lot of the features that the, the PV1 offers. So but a smaller package. Oh, and an external GPS, which might significantly increase your uh, capabilities there. This one is gonna be mil standard 810 tested, okay? So they're definitely going through the paces on this. That explains the price, so. Very cool, I just wanted to highlight this. You can check this all out yourself with the links I've provided. If you're interested in what we're doing, you've appreciated this video, please hit that thumbs up. You can also buy me a coffee at the link here or down below. You can check out our social media links, our website, and stay tuned for more great videos. Thanks for watching.